Hi guys, today we're gonna look at creating window boxes. I've always loved window boxes, but the windows at the front of my house are too low to accommodate them. But I have a large window at the back of my house and last year I decided to install a window box and it has done so well. But now it needs to be renewed and that's what we're gonna do, so come with me. Window boxes can be made from wood or plastic or metal. I found these at Evergo Garden Center last year and I just love them. Now I'm going to be putting the plants in, in their pots because that way you can easily take a plant out and replace it if it needs to be replaced. But because they're, I'm using the pots, I also have to line this. At first I'd lined it with burlap or what we call in Jamaica crocus bag. I found that didn't hold up more than a few months and then I thought maybe I could use turf or artificial turf or artificial grass and that has been very good. So I've had them cut for the shape of the of the window box and because I don't want the pot showing I'm gonna add you put the, the this in so what you see from outside is just the artificial grass. You will notice that I place the window boxes a little lower than the window sill. That is good because it appears more natural when the plants are in and especially when you're looking at the window boxes from inside out. The other thing is the window box should be a little bit outside of the window. If I'd used, this is a wide window, if I'd used just one window box, it would have looked odd. So I decided to use two. Okay, I used this plant last year, so I'm gonna use it again because it's still in good condition. And it adds a little sturdiness to the whole thing. I'm using a mixture of plants with delicate, flowers that um, work well together. I'm going to put the other one, this one, this is a new one, but I'll put it on this side. They don't have to be the same size because it's going to be one. And what we're aiming to do is achieve balance on both sides, but they don't have to be exact. I'm using vincas. Last year I had this one. This one has, is over a year old. And vincas, or I like the word periwinkle for them because it sounds story book like. Um, this is a little tall and scraggly now, so I'm going to replace it with new ones. Now, there are two types of vincas um, the creeping ones. And then you have the, the straight up ones. And what I thought was very nice is that the nursery, they put both in a pot, in the same pot. And it's even nicer that it's two different colors. So you have the creeping one and you have the straight up one. And I find this combination is just ideal for window boxes. I'm gonna put this one here because you need something falling over. And then I'll do a similar one here on this side. Make sure that's not hanging down. Good. And then I'll just keep adding. This one needs to be, I want to have one that hangs here because then it comes in and it hides the middle. Vincas don't usually like a lot of water, but I think they do well in window boxes or in hanging baskets because they get to drain properly. So I'm gonna put this one here. Or maybe I could just change this around, put this one here and this one because it naturally falls that way. So then it's going to hide that little space in between. 
Then I'm just going to keep adding. This one is nice. These I also had from last year. I've cut them back, so in another few weeks they will fill back out. They last pretty long too, and I love the very delicate flowers. Here's another one. It doesn't have to be exactly at the same space on the other side because you're going to view the basket, the window boxes as one when it's finished. This one could go here. I have this and I want to get this one in. So. I think I'm going to put this here. No, it's not looking so good. As you go along, you just make the changes. But after a few weeks, uh, maybe just a week or two, the plants themselves will adjust. They will know how to. Plants will adjust. Hanging that one there. These begonias are in very small pots, so you can squeeze them in, in little areas. Maybe this one could go or over here. Right, and I just bend it a little forward. The, they're going to need watering on a regular basis, maybe every other day at least and also fertilizing. But if you can fertilize once a week, that would be good. If not, every other week or once a month, but at least once a month because the pots they're in can only contain so much nutrients. So there you go, window boxes, adding a touch of color to my garden. Thanks again for joining us at HHG Studios. We hope you were inspired and encouraged to do your own window boxes as these add so much beauty to your home's exterior. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Click on that notification bell below so you'll know as soon as we have uploaded a new video. So until next time, walk good.